Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your What's Up Wednesday reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into it, Taurus. Thank you, Lord, God, for blessing the Taurus with a clear and concise message from you. All right, so Taurus, we have the Seven of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. And um, we have, as advice, they want you to know it's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. Okay? And you are a grown adult. Stop blaming others for your stuff. Okay. Now, this could be what you want to say to someone else. Or this could be the advice that you need to take yourself. Use it. Place it where, where it belongs. Um, lots of water energy. Could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. We've got Scorpio showing up heavy here. Um, if you're not dealing with that person with a Scorpio, then you've got somebody really in their emotions about you, thinking about the past, the good times with you, um, thinking about how good of a person you are or were to them, how you showed up as a good Samaritan in their life, how they felt with you, there was like a sense of longing or belonging or service to you, like it, it they're serving a higher purpose. It just felt good. Um, also, you guys could have had a child together or children together. There was something that you did that helped this person grow up or vice versa that they did to help you grow up towards. The Seven of Cups talks about maybe there was somebody who oversold themselves, who wasn't, um, wasn't being exactly honest, didn't live up to the dream. Um, you know, they built castles in the sky. They... The sweet nothings, the promises and not fulfilling the promises. This also could talk about somebody being a cheater, keeping options open. Um, this to talk about the uh, the infidelity of maybe a spouse, the cheating spouse. Says the Seven of Cups. This is somebody who overindulges. They go overboard. They overeat. They overdrink. They oversleep. They over over. Um, they just have no chill. They have no balance in their life. Um, be careful that this person doesn't come back into your life and try to sell you this dream. Sell you, sell you these, um, some snake oil, you know. Um, whatever they, they have, it's just not realized, okay? It is, um, it is emotional. It's based in emotions. It's based in what they want to do, how they feel. But it's not based in any intent, any intentions, any consistency, any diligence. This is somebody who's just not serious about their own life. Therefore, they can't be serious with you. Um, this is somebody who's about fun, fun in the sun, having a good time, drinking, smoking, partying. They miss those times with you, but they feel like they can have that back with you. They feel like something's changed here or it ended, like somebody put an end to a relationship. And now they're in a place of nostalgia, wanting the relationship back, wanting the connection back. And they might say, or yeah, they will say anything to try to get you to come back or get you to be involved with it, whatever it is. This could be somebody who does drugs, who is on drugs, who takes some type of, I don't know, hallucinogen, or they get high. I don't know. Something's going on here where they're just not in their right frame of mind, and they don't care to be. This person has, may have run into a lot of pitfalls in life, and they may be, they might be in a bad place right now, um, in which they're their mental is making them um, go to a place of uh, you know when you go through something bad you know how your your mind will try to help you pick yourself up so it'll make you think of something good and something fun so let's say this person is without money or a home or a place to sleep or whatever yeah, or they're just really going through a tough time. This person, is, they need an outlet. So now they're thinking of you and the fun times they had with you. And not really 
looking at reality. The reality of the situation is maybe it's over. It's done. Somebody doesn't want you. They don't want what you have to offer. Um, your fate is phony. It's not real. This could be you, Taurus. It could be someone else. If this reading resonates with you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Paper your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. Also, you could donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Taurus. Many blessings to you.